It's not the gun that pulls the trigger. Stop endangering our lives with gun bans. You need to end gun-free zones. You shut down the ATF. You said back then, uh, in today's society, no one needs a, a semi-automatic assault weapon. Do you think people need them now? It's not about need. It's a right. I said on an AR-15. I don't know what it stands for. It stands for freedom. Let's get rid of AR-15. Even if you did that, it might make you feel good today. There's going to be another shooting next week. Would you, as president, sign a bill that would allow for a national concealed carry of permitted firearms for responsible gun owners? Yes. Live free or die, man. I will ask Congress to send a bill to my desk to national concealed carry reciprocity. We backed constitutional carry. We did reciprocity with my sister state, Georgia. Let's make constitutional carry the law of the land. I will also create a new tax credit to reimburse any teacher for the full cost of a concealed carry firearm and training. I think we've got to be very cautious about red flag laws. We cannot allow laws like that or other laws to erode the constitutional right to keep and bear arms. On the red flag law, that yeah. is a separate issue, and there's a resistance because it's not uh, a going into a court and fully adjudicating it. We want to make sure it's due process, it's fair. Well, I don't trust government to deal with red flag laws. I don't trust that they will that they won't take them away from people who rightfully deserve to have them. You've got to be able to enforce the law and you've got to send the signal that uh, there's going to be uh, serious consequences and the death penalty. We ought to have a federal statute that says if you engage in a mass shooting, uh, that you will face capital punishment in months, not years. The only way to stop these wicked acts is to ensure that any sicko who would shoot up a school knows that within seconds, not minutes, they will face certain deaths. The federal government, if needs be, ought to make it possible for every public and private school in America to have an armed security guard. $83 billion a year spent on God knows what, foisting race and gender ideology onto our kids. For a quarter of that budget, I've done the math on this, you can put three armed security guards in every school. We have a mental health crisis that often disguises itself as gun violence. It is a big mental health problem in this country more than anything else. We have to make mental health a number one priority because we are losing Americans every day to a lack of care. Just over the same period that we have closed mental health institutions, we have seen a spike in violent crime. Do we have the spine to bring them back? We have got to get back to institutional mental health care. Democrats blame this crisis on easy access to guns. They also blame Republicans for blocking gun control legislation. The problem is not going to be solved by more money. The problem is, is, is that these prosecutors in these localities in the states are refusing to do their job and to arrest violent criminals. You have George Soros funding these radical left-wing district attorneys. They get into office and they right. say they're not going to prosecute crimes yeah. they disagree with. The cities that, that are having all the issues with the crime you know, are not enforcing the law. They're defunding their police, you know, and they want to pass gun laws, I guess what, so that if they're, when the police are gone, then people can't defend themselves. They want criminals to have the upper hand over law-abiding citizens.